Go on your phone. Go on your phone. Go on the YouTube trending page. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jaden. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We're talking about how I got creator on the rise and how thankful I am for it. Probably click on this video, then you're someone who might not know who I am, so I wanna make sure you're welcome on this channel and you feel at home. I'm a 17 year old entrepreneur making her way, trying to get her dreams of helping you on social. Like my entire goal for creating this channel was to give you value and help you grow your brand and become an influencer. Um, and as that process has been going, I've received so many questions from you guys asking if I have a boyfriend, how I got to my success, what I do for a living, Thing, how I make money. I'm gonna answer all of that here. Um, if you're not new here, what's up my family? Dharma Nation, you guys are amazing. I literally just can't thank you enough. I'm gonna go on a tangent of answering questions. Basically, if you saw Instagram, I updated their platform and basically now people can ask you questions. Oh, wait, I think I've seen that one meme but it's like, ask me anything and it's like this guy like going out and then closing the door. So I'm super excited to dive right in and make sure you guys stay to the very end if you wanna know my experiences being a featured creator on the ride. By the way, how are you guys doing? Like, I'm just, I just want to know, like, how your day was. Uh, my day has been great. It's a little bit warm here in Vancouver. I'm actually currently in my garage. This is where it all started. If you are an OG YouTube subscriber, you might have seen that I've been actually in this garage last year, grinding away, not knowing what I was doing, but that was kind of the start of this channel. So, um, if you guys recognize the background, this is the garage I worked in every single day making videos. <laughs> um, currently now I'm based in LA, but I'm visiting here back home to visit my parents. Um, and it's really surreal just to be back here. I, I miss this ugly ass garage. So the first question I got is from Bia. She asked, do you think you're gonna go back to school? Okay guys, a little backstory. I did drop out of high school. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys were confused on why I dropped out, what the reason was. And here it is, okay? I dropped out because I couldn't stand half-assing my business and school. Like for me personally, school was a place to learn how to learn. Once I feel like I learned how to learn, I didn't see the benefit. This question is interesting. I was thinking about it for the longest time, but I don't think I'm gonna go back to school right now or for a while. I just don't need to learn how to learn. I, I wanna learn what I wanna learn. Does that make sense? I wanna learn about entrepreneurship, life, um, and marketing, not physics, calculus, and bullshit. You know what I mean? Um, but I know a lot of you guys do want an education and a degree so you can do your career. We have all different paths, so let's be all okay with different roads to Rome. You guys heard that saying? Uh, maybe, okay. Someone asked me, are you a virgin? <laughs> well, a lot of you guys actually think I'm on cocaine. A lot of you guys commented that I'm on drugs. Fun fact, I've never, I've never smoked in my life. I've never taken a single drug. I don't party. Um, I just stay at home and make videos and work. <laughs> Someone asked me what highlight I use. It's mostly sweat, but if you're curious, I use Anastasia Glow Kit. Okay, a lot of you guys wanna know, did you eventually graduate high school? No, I dropped out of high school. You know, fun fact, since a lot of questions are about high school, when I dropped out, it was really interesting because I didn't know you had to like sign a withdrawal form. I just stopped showing up. I know, it's kind of lame. Like I really just did this only six months ago um, and I didn't know what to do. So I just stopped showing up to class. I legitimately was like, I don't, I don't want to be here. Basically, apparently you had to sign a form, but because I didn't, um, I had to go to court. So I went to my counselor, super messy. The school admin was yelling at me. Sorry if I keep looking up at my monitor. It's just so, it's just so clear. So the next question is pretty simple. I like it. It's just, what do you do? A lot of you guys don't know what I do to make money or my job or, you know, as an entrepreneur, what do I sell? So I do consulting. I help brands make money. So I consult them how to do their sales and marketing. Um, think brands like Kombucha. I work with a few apparel brands. That's how I majority make my income. Uh, and I also do YouTube. I have a personal brand. I do sometimes coaching calls for influencers. And I'm now working on my app. So I'm trying to differentiate multiple income streams. Um, again, I'm only 17, so it can be really stressful. Um, I like this next question, which will tie into it. But someone asked me, how many businesses did you fail? Uh, before you make a sustainable profit. I love this one so much because I failed so many times. Like you guys don't know this, but I had a e-commerce business at the age of nine, another one at 10. I sold products online on Amazon. You know, like I built multiple companies, probably like seven of them that failed. Like to be very honest guys, last year I created a company um, and it still haunts me to this day because a lot of people from school said it was really stupid. I got like called out. It was just not fun. So I totally feel like 
failure for me has been something that I was really like insecure about but now I look back and I'm just thinking like like I just totally believe that there's more pain in the fear of failure than actual failure itself like I don't want to be in regret and I don't want to be hesitant so I'm kind of glad that I failed because I knew that if I held back and just like dwelled on what could happen I just would be even in more pain so that's why I just dropped out of school that's why I'm okay with failure I want to do shit and not be living in regret okay the next question is any tips for a teen to handle hate comments yo I've been receiving hate comments tying this into being creator of the rise I don't even know what the fuck it's called you guys wanted to know how I got it so to be very frank I had no idea like YouTube sent me an email saying okay <laughs> You're creator of the rise. I'm like cool, cool, cool. I woke up in the morning. Actually, here's a video of me like freaking out. Mom, mom, go on the YouTube trending page. Like, just go on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know how, I, I just don't know how. I looked into it and apparently there's a little bit of an algorithm. So YouTube selects creators or YouTubers that perform over a certain time and do a certain amount of growth. So if your channel has been doing well and you're posting consistent and then it's over a certain time frame, it's like 90 days apparently, um, then they will push your content onto the trending page worldwide. So that's what happened. But to be very fair, like I didn't know this was happening. It was super surprising. And I actually messaged a lot of friends who have been also featured before and they're like, yeah, YouTube didn't tell us. Like, it just happened. So my biggest thing is like, after that experience with like being featured, I've got massive exposure. And some of you guys are here from there. And thank you so much for just being here. I, I hope to give you more value and you stick along. You might not know who I am. And there was a lot of hate comments and there was a lot of dislikes. And there was a lot, a lot of negativity. But to give you guys value, a tip I have to handle hate comments is if they don't like your content, if someone's leaving a rude remark, they're leaving negativity, or you feel like they don't like your videos, you have to understand it's not your target market so as a marketer i had to quickly realize if someone's leaving like a dislike or they don't like my perspective it's because they're probably not the audience i want to begin with your channel needs to do the following it needs to attract the right audience but it also repels the people that doesn't and that's why people leave hate comments and i i kind of made that into like a business mindset where if you don't like my content you're probably not the right audience for me you're not the niche i'm going after and that's okay and i have to be really okay with that so if you get a lot of negativity and you got a lot of hate just remember they're not your audience they're not the ones that are gonna pay your bills they're not the ones that you're gonna be able to you know call them true fans and followers so don't give a shit about them from there move on and build the audience you really want the target market that you're going for because i would never ever recommend you guys to run away from hate comments like I would just face it. What is it called? Like build a heart of steel? You know, I would just be like, Ch -ch -ch fuck you. Oh shit. Okay, a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys wanna know if I'm single, if I have a boyfriend. <sighs> yeah, so I didn't explain this. My boyfriend is named Goals and Success. Sorry, that was really lame. But no, like I don't, I don't have a boyfriend. Oh, but what? Okay, so I was at Nordstrom today. Sorry, I got these jeans, by the way. If you guys like my jeans, I literally just got it for this video. At Nordstrom, and this guy comes up to me. He's like, oh, hey, girl. Just like, yeah, what's up? And this dude's like, obviously, like, really old. Like, old as fuck. He goes like, hey, uh, you want to go out to get drinks tonight? I was like, who the fuck does that? Like, who the fuck actually, like, the first thing they say isn't hello. It's not like, how are you? It's... Yo, you want to go out now? And I, I honestly had to give props to this dude. He has a massive penis, like a massive balls to just come up to a girl and do this. But then he goes like, oh, okay, what's your Snapchat? I just had to say, like, straight out the bat, like, yo, I am 17. Uh, I don't know why I shared that, but there has been situations where I think I'm a little young. Maybe just a little. If you're a girl, maybe you can feel, I feel like I'm a little bit young. Like I don't really need a man's. A lot of you guys are pressure yourself to need a man's. Okay, that's really lame, but I, I do like have crushes and shit, but I guess I just like to look at pretty people and they don't act on it. I'm just like, you're cute. You know, like okay, someone asked me, how is my app? So you guys know, I mentioned before, like I have multiple companies. This app has been really hard. You, and I, I want to be honest, like you guys, like I had to take a break from personal brand journey app, which is brand I'm working on, which is creating content and helping you grow your brand in an app form. Um, and I had to take a break. It was causing me a lot of anxiety and stress for certain reasons. There's a lot of expectations I have to live up to, investment. I just want to make an announcement and just say like, I'm so sorry if I've been working slow and actually fuck it. Like I don't need an explanation, but it's been rough. Um, and it's a good type of hustle that I'm now trying to work towards. But for the longest time, I couldn't even work on it. Um, and I'll, I'll keep updating you guys if you want to hear more about this app, because a lot of you guys, like I, I can relate to you. Like if you're posting consistently, sometimes you have a mentality where you're like, oh, you have to be a bigger size to, to post better. Like no one's going to listen to you if you're not like a massive influencer. I had that mentality for my own company. Literally, I felt like I wasn't good enough to build an app. 
I'll keep updating you guys on how my mindset is on this. Like, this is other stuff you guys don't really get to see. However, I will link below. I have a new YouTube second channel where you guys want to see where I've been up to when I was traveling, when I was taking a break from PBJ. Basically, I was traveling and trying to find myself. I know that sounds really deep, but it got really bad. Like, I just had panic attacks and anxiety. So anyways, if you want to see the second channel, click the link below. I made it. It's called Jade's Vlogs and shit, I think. Um, and there's already a new vlog, so go subscribe if you want to see more of me. If you just don't give a shit, that's okay. Go to song right now. <laughs> I'm really into in my feelings right now. Yeah, that was today's Q&A. I hope you enjoy. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. But comment below what videos you want to see next. Basically, I help people grow on social. So whether you want to see more marketing videos, leave me a question. I'm telling you, I will read every single one. I'm so thankful. Like, I have to realize, like, yes, I dropped out of high school. Yes, I'm an outcast, technically, and I don't have that many friends. But I'm going to be honest, like, you guys are my best friends. I just feel so much love from you, and I just want to reciprocate that back. And I'm really thankful you are here, regardless if you've been here since day one or yesterday. For today guys thank you so much for watching obliterate that like button and subscribe if you haven't already because what the fuck i'll catch you guys in the next one goodbye